what struck me most is this big open loving space and children engaged at all times doing their own thing exploring investigating and it just felt like a big nice huge family and i wanted to be part of that oh wow as soon as they start a nursery with their selling sessions you're there for them to kind of you know get that relationship with their parents um, make sure that you know they're settled and secure and it's the consistency of you being there for them it's been, I think, one of the most challenging and rewarding like journey from kind of finding your feet within the free flow because that was something completely new and, you know, at first you need to get your head around it and kind of start living day by day and getting used to the flow of the nursery. It's important, you know, this is, this is where they live, this is where they're growing yeah. up. You know, they're part of the community, so it makes sense that you need to be out there and, you know feeling it, you know, because they belong to it. Into the woods and we'll, that's where we'll do our forest school session. We go off on the mini bus and it's just a time just for them to take the risks that are risks for them. It's all our children have different ranges of ability, different ideas that they can think of, different risks that they want to take. And it can be from jumping off of a little log that they found that's fallen down or it could be climbing up an eight foot muddy steep hill <laughs> um, but it's them being able to reach it in their own time having no one to do it for them doing it all by themselves being independent there's that nice thing you say about the invisible bit of elastic <laughs> you know once they feel confident and secure that's when they start going off through the nursery and kind of finding their interests yeah, engaging exactly. with the other children and they know that they can you know come straight back to you if they need the cuddle they need the reassurance you know it's that what are these they're kind of like an extra resource aren't they we've had parents come in and do clay work mari's here to do some printing yeah, we've had you know a couple of the parents who are architects they've like lent us their work that they've done their blueprints yeah. Sure. Nice thing about it is because they're all different age groups. Yeah. You can have different age groups and families. Oh, it's nice. We all gather together for story time, singing mm. time. Oh. Particularly like with my key family, having them from such a young age, you know, they were all roughly about eight months to a year when I started, mm. and now they're all like turning three. I've got to see that journey of kind of being there for them and kind of watching their confidence mm. and the fact that we're lovely. So, we're just lovely people. <laughs> <laughs> It's through our observations, you know, you're there to kind of capture their voice and their ideas and through that, you know, you put it into our planning and our provocations and then you extend it forward and it's kind of, it's at their pace, isn't it? It's like the things that they initiate that that's you can true. kind of build and upon. And then the idea's coming from the family, so that's how communication yeah. and why families to come because of course they go home and they share mm. their ideas, they tell, oh, we've done this, we've been there, we've seen that. Naturally. I won that one, yes. Uh, oh, individually, <laughs> but my team. <laughs> Being able to laugh at each other and yeah. laugh with each other is, mm. is, is quite special. Yay! <laughs> just now, just right. listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, nice talk, actually. <laughs>